Vaughn, we also saw Arizona Speaker of the House Rusty Bowers lose his bid for a state Senate seat to David Farnsworth, who supported Trump's claims that the 2020 election was stolen. Now, Bowers was really on the other end of the spectrum in that fight. He even testified before the January 6th committee where he stated he had refused to go along with Trump's efforts to overturn the election results mm -hmm. in this state. So what kind of implications does that result have going forward? You can't get much more local than a legislative race. And when we talk, Savannah, about the impact of the January 6th Select Committee's public hearings, uh, what ultimately that would uh, have an impact in changing Republican voters, well, uh, last night was a testament to where the voters are remaining today. Rusty Bowers became a national figure because he testified about the pressure campaign that Trump allies placed on him to overturn the election. Uh, but he stood his ground, and he did not fold to those pressures. And you see the results there. He lost to a Trump-endorsed challenger by a sizable margin. And after 16 years in public office, uh, he's no, not going to be returning to the Arizona state legislature next year. I think that the Arizona primary here says a lot about where at least Arizona Republican voters, what their takeaways are when not only the January 6th public hearings, but what they want their party to look like into the future. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.